Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Applied Energistics tutorial series. Um, in the previous episode, we talked about Certus Quartz and Charged Certus Quartz, how they're extremely important resources, and how Charged Certus Quartz especially is kind of rare and difficult to get in large quantities. So the next question obviously becomes, is there a way to farm this stuff without actually having to mine it? And the answer is thankfully yes. So in this episode we're going to be taking a look at the crystals that you'll need in the mod, how to get them, and how to farm them using seeds. Okay, so here we have on this plaque the three different types of seeds that there are in the game. Certus Quartz Seeds, which creates a pure Certus Quartz Crystals. Uh, nether Quartz Seeds, which create pure Nether Quartz Crystals. And then we haven't talked about this yet, Fluix Seeds and pure Fluix Crystals. Okay, you're going to need nether quartz for this part of the uh, mob pack. Uh, it doesn't take long in uh, Applied Energistics for you to start needing nether quartz, so you'll need to have your portal to the nether and go and get some. But once you have that, you can start uh, growing it, so you don't even have to go back to the nether to get nether quartz, which can be quite useful for other mods that need nether quartz. In this video, we're going to need to get ourselves up to these flutes crystals. So let's take a look at how to craft them. So first, how do we create seeds? Well, seeds are created over here in the seed crafting unit that I have set up by taking sand, which of course you can get anywhere, and combining it with either Certus Quartz Dust, Nether Quartz Dust, or this Fluix Dust. If I take some Certus Quartz Dust and place it next to the sand, I get two Certus Quartz Seeds. So as you can see, for every dust you get two seeds, which will create two crystals, so you get a net gain. If I want to take this seed that I've just crafted, I can chuck it over here in this water and it will ex extremely slowly start growing. When I say extremely slowly, I mean it's going to take hours. We want a way to make it faster. And we'll talk about that also in this episode. So how do we get the dust that we just used to craft that seed? Well, the easiest way to do it and the, the way that you do it in Applied Energistics is by using the Quartz Grindstone. This is the UI for the grindstone. It's got three input slots, and a processing slot, and three output slots. If we place a Certus Quartz Crystal in here, and then we crank this wooden handle, which apparently causes the signs to go into rave mode, we get Certus Quartz Dust. So how do we make the grindstone? Well, you'll need three components. To make the actual quartz grindstone itself, which is this block, you're going to need to craft a wooden gear. Now, if you have Buildcraft installed uh, along with Applied Energistics, AE will automatically use that wood gear. But if you don't have it installed, Applied Energistics has its own wood gear that is crafted the same exact way. It just looks different. So don't worry, the recipe is the same regardless. Just four sticks gives you a wooden gear. Then we can come over here and craft our quartz grindstone with our wooden gear at the top, surrounding it by three stones, so a stone in the upper left, the upper right, and the middle. Then a quartz crystal in the middle left, middle right, and bottom middle. And then a cobblestone in the bottom left and the bottom right will give you the quartz grindstone. And you can place that down wherever you want to use it. Then we need to craft the wooden crank, which is the second part of this the tiniest multi-block in the game, pretty much. Stupid light. To craft our wooden crank, it's just a bunch of sticks. Five sticks arranged from the upper left, wrapping around to the lower right. Wooden crank. It's important that you know when using the grindstone that if you, if you try and crank it without anything in it, the crank will eventually break. You have to make a new one. So try not to do that. Okay. So using the quartz grindstone, you can grind a lot of stuff. It's not just, you know, quartz, and it's not just stuff from Applied Energistics. You can grind up the, your ores and ingots and stuff. So it's a very cheap, very easy way to start doubling your ores by grinding them into dust and then smelting them. Okay? So now that we have access to seeds, let's just go ahead and make one of each just for fun. Got some nether quartz seeds. Got some fluix seeds. 
You may be wondering to yourself, what the heck is this Fluix Crystal and, and Seeds, and how do I get my hands on it? Well, Fluix Crystals are an incredibly important part of Applied Energistics. They're required for your ME systems and pretty much everything. Let's grab this little seed. It's not going to grow. We don't have nearly enough time. The seeds don't despawn, okay? But they take an absolute eternity to grow if you don't speed it up. So how do we create Fluix? Well, it's actually quite simple. We need some redstone dust. We need some nether quartz. And we need charged Certus Quartz crystals. Okay? Has to be charged ones. We throw these into some water in equal proportions, one to one. And in only a couple of seconds, we get Fluix crystals. Two of them. All right, now we have Fluix crystals. Well, the problem is that because charged Certus Quartz is hard to get our hands on, we're going to quickly run out of it. So how can we go about getting ourselves more charged Certus Quartz? Well, the answer to that is to take regular Certus Quartz and to put it in this machine, the charger. All you have to do is take a Certus Quartz crystal and right click it and it'll go into the charger. Problem is, the charger requires power. If you look at the bottom right, this Wayla tooltip will show you that it currently contains 1.25 kilo redstone flux. Or whatever the heck that, is, that K means. So we need some power in this charger. It says RF, I think, because we have mods in this pack that use RF. But basically, you need some power. Okay. First of all, let's take a look at how to craft the charger. Which you're going to want to do as soon as you create your first bit of Fluix Crystal. Because it only takes two Fluix Crystals and five iron to craft the charger. A Fluix Crystal at the top and the bottom. Iron ingots along the whole left side and an iron ingot in the upper right and lower right corners will create a charger. Of course, as we just mentioned, the charger is useless without power. And in Applied Energistics, the first method you have of giving it power is to use the vibration chamber, which is this block right here. The vibration chamber takes in coal and creates Applied Energistics power. In order to craft it, however, you need a couple of other uh, devices. You're going to need a furnace in the middle, you're going to need to wrap it in iron, and at the bottom, you need an energy acceptor, which we'll take a look at how to craft now. The energy acceptor looks like this, and it's also used in other applications, but specifically now, we're talking about the vibration chamber. We'll come back to the energy acceptor in future episodes. To craft the energy acceptor, you need a flux crystal, four iron ingots in the corners, and four quartz glass on each side. Well, one on each side for a total of four. Quartz glass, not aside from just being a rather attractive glass block to use to build with, is used in a lot of applied energistics devices. It's crafted using four blocks of glass on the sides and then filling the rest of it with five Certus Quartz or Nether Quartz dust. You're even allowed to mix and match the Certus Quartz dust and Nether Quartz dust in the same recipe. It creates four quartz glass, so you don't lose glass. You get four, four glass in, four glass out. And that's how you create quartz glass. So once you have your quartz glass, you can craft your energy acceptor, and then you can craft your vibration chamber. Once you have a vibration chamber and a charger, creating your own charged surges quartz is really as simple, if I get some room in my inventory, as taking a vibration chamber and sticking it on top of your charger or putting a charger on top of a vibration chamber which is probably what I would do because it, it kind of looks better <laughs> once you have your charger right on top of or underneath a vibration chamber because the charger can only take power from the top of the bottom all you have to do is stick coal in it It'll light up, produce power, and if we watch our charger, it's, get, it's gathering power, and once it has enough, we'll turn our Certus Quartz Crystal into a charged Certus Quartz Crystal. There you go. You saw it change, and we get a charged Certus Quartz Crystal out. Let's watch that again. Certus Quartz Crystal in, charged Certus Quartz out. If the charger is completely charged up, which doesn't take very long. You'll get it in like a second. 
Okay, so now we can craft charged Sardis Quartz Crystals, which is incredibly important as we just re re uh, discovered, because we need them to create Fluix. So now we have a renewable source of charged crystals. But we still have to either mine our quartz from the ground, or wait an incredibly long time, longer than I can show you in this video, to let the seeds grow. Well, it would be certainly be great if there was a way to speed up the growth of our seeds. And thankfully, there is a way to do that. Using the Crystal Growth Accelerator block, we can rapidly speed the growth of our crystals. I'm talking an immense increase in speed after just the first accelerator. One Crystal Growth Accelerator will take the speed of crystal growth from an hours long process to taking only minutes. And you can add more of these to speed it up even more if you want to, if you're able to give it enough power. So to craft our crystal growth accelerator, we need a block of fluix, which we'll take a look at crafting in a moment, four iron ingots in the corners, two quartz glass on the left and the right, and two emmy glass cable fluix on the top and the bottom. And we'll take a look at how to craft that in a moment as well. The block of fluix is crafted, as you might imagine, with some fluix crystals. Okay, so pretty standard for taking a resource and making it into a block. However, there is another way of doing this. Instead of using fluix crystals, you can use pure fluix crystals, which you get from growing seeds. However, it takes eight of them to craft the block. This is because pure crystals aren't as useful as the standard ones. So you need more of them to craft these things. Once you have your Fluix block, you're still going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your Emmy Glass Cable. We're going to, we'll talk about Emmy Glass Cable exhaustively in future episodes when we go over the Emmy Network, because this little thing right here is just the backbone of that. Okay, You're going to need a ton of this stuff. To craft it, it takes two Fluix crystals and a quartz fiber, and that gives you four Emmy Glass Cables. But how do we craft quartz fiber? A quick message on quartz fiber. Quartz fiber is basically the same thing as quartz, as emmy glass cable, except it'll only transfer power. So if you want to transfer power from, say, the vibration chamber into the charger without having to put them directly on top of each other, you would use quartz fiber. To craft it, it's simply six glass, three along the top and three along the bottom, and three certus quartz dust in the middle. Just like other recipes using quartz dust, you can replace any amount of the quartz dust with nether quartz dust to get the same effect. Now that you have your quartz fiber, you can craft it into your emmy glass cable, use the flux block, and craft the crystal growth accelerator. Now that we have our crystal growth accelerator, how do we use it? Using this thing is as simple as placing it down next to some water. You don't need to use a pond that's already existing. You can just have a single block of water in the ground, which is usually what you're going to end up doing, so that you can have it in your factory or whatever, in your base. But all you got to do is place down the Crystal Growth Accelerator, and then give it some power. Crystal Growth Accelerator is a lot like the Charger. Take their power from either underneath or on top. So the simplest way to power this is to place a vibration chamber on top of it. We need some coal. So I'll go and grab some from this other one. And once we put coal in the vibration chamber, it'll start producing power. This will power up our crystal growth accelerator. If we look at the crystal growth accelerator, we can see that it now has... Uh, it's now sparking. And that's how, as well as having a slight glow in its texture. Now that it's got these sparks coming off of it, we know that it's working and it's going to be accelerating the growth of this seed. It's still going to take too long to show you in this video with just the one accelerator. However, if we place down more accelerators, we can speed up the process. I'm not exactly sure how much power these things require, so I don't know if I can power it with just one, vi both of them with just one vibration chamber, but let's see if we can do that. We'll attach quartz fiber cables Ah. 
which don't seem to be connecting very well with the actual textures. Yeah, I can't tell. These things seem a little glitchy at the moment. I'm just going to place another vibration chamber on top of here. So now we'll have two crystal growth accelerators sparking. You'll notice little bubbles around the crystal. That's another indication that the growth accelerators are working. Well, we're going to pump this up to the max. And we're going to put four crystal growth accelerators around our seed. Let's go grab some more coal. With four crystal growth accelerators running, they should kick in in a moment. It takes a little bit for this uh, for, for them to kick in after you've given them power. It should be sparking right now. Yep, now they're working. These four growth accelerators are going to rapidly speed up the pace at which we can grow the seed. However, this is still not a fast process. You'll notice that the seed has just increased in size. This is the second stage of crystal growth. I can look in any eye and I can see that this it grows in size a couple times. It grows in size at 33% and again at 66 and then when it reaches full size you get the full size thing. So you're gonna want to get this set up as quickly as possible. After you craft your fluix, oh I accidentally picked it up. It's at 92%. If I throw it back in, it won't take very long at all for it to grow up. So you can see what happened. A process that would have taken an hour, an hour, over an hour, has just taken only a minute or, uh, or minute because of all these accelerators. And we've now grown a pure Sirius Quartz Crystal. Later in this series, I'll show you how to fully automate this system. But for now, you can do it manually. You'll have to pick up the seeds every once in a while. Anyway, that's it for this episode on how to grow see on how to grow crystals and on how to speed up their growth with the crystal growth accelerator. This is essentially the full early game of applied energistics. Having a robust setup of growth accelerators, a power system using either vibration chambers or the power from another mod because this is compatible with RF is going to be essential before you start getting into the ME system. Because once you start working with the actual ME network, you're going to need a lot of quartz crystals. You're going to need to make a lot of, of glass cables. You're going to need a lot of fluix. So the early game of Applied Energistics is really all about acquiring a stable, steady supply of quartz. And with the tools we've, that I've hoped that you've learned now in this video, you'll be able to do just that. So in our next episode, we're going to take a look at how to create the very most basic ME system that's possible. I hope you're enjoying the series. Stay tuned for the future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.